Hello, I'm Daniel Hines with Steiner Books, here today with author John Bloom to discuss his book, Inhabiting Interdependence. So John, what makes for a sustainable economy? Um, what really makes for a sustainable economy is making sure that everyone who's participating in the economy um, has their needs recognized and met mm -hmm. to the extent that that's possible. Mm -hmm. um, so that is a picture of an economy that is has a, an associative quality to it, mm -hmm. uh, in which, for example, the producer and the consumer and the distributor, there was some accountability in that whole cycle, uh, mm -hmm. rather than being lopsided and one-sided. And I think that um, with the notion of, of, of infinite growth and the need and the drive for more growth for profit's sake and therefore the investor's sake, Mm -hmm. There's been also a drive to create products that, for which is also the need has been created, right? When it right, manufacturing is, need. Yeah, yeah, manufacturing need. So, and the technology of doing that, um, connecting commerce, connecting uh, products and consumerism with hum you know, the identity of a human being and how I self-identify, that has really been the science, really from the from about 1955 on. But the, the level of sophistication, mm -hmm. um, the level of degree to which that has been successful in how we self conceive, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. has it's quite extraordinary. So right. now identification you know, we're of born, self by brand, right? We're we're born consumers now. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, not me. Because that was before that time, but right, you know, right. young people who are born now, I mean, the, the internet and everything that comes with that and media and television comes with that mm -hmm. is simply part of the real fabric. And not that that's a good thing or a bad thing, one just has to recognize that that's the reality. That's what's going on, yeah. yeah. So John, the book's been out for a little while. You've probably gotten a little bit of feedback. Um, just curious what kind of things you hear when people uh, take on this big vision and this other way of looking at things. Sure. Well, I have um, uh, heard very much so that um, aspects of it are, are very helpful. Mm -hmm. It's fairly specific uh, around um, aspects of the next economy. So mm -hmm. uh, a board could look at the question around fiduciary. Uh, mm -hmm. An organization could look at the question of uh, compensation and what are we, you know, what are we, how are we working with salaries and compensation? Mm -hmm. What is it mm -hmm. really about? Mm -hmm. um, and and maybe we could talk a little bit more specifically about that one because that particular essay um, went kind of viral through Huffington Post and in, mm -hmm. in you know coming mm -hmm. uh, so um, because it really flipped the whole notion of salaries on its head mm -hmm. uh, and so of course salaries are always a touchy subject touchy <laughs> subject very sensitive subject for everybody. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you know, if we want to, we can come back to talking about that. Or um, and so there are other aspects of the book like that about what is how do we think about economics of place and and mm -hmm. where we are. How do we get ourselves relocalized and think of us ourselves as um, economic citizens? How might we bring more associative activity into the economy? And by that I mean, for example, with community supported agriculture. Mm -hmm. Might there be community supported medicine? Might there be community supported education? Might, right. you know, right. and, and in some ways, independent education is community supported education, but do they think of it that way, or is it really consumers and producers? So mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. a lot of serious rethinking we need to do about how we are operating together economically mm -hmm. that is not simply about how I work for me or how you work for you, but mm -hmm. actually. How am I working on your behalf so that somebody's working on my behalf and we're actually in a circulation of both gift and intention, but also the dollars mm -hmm. that support that. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, John. That sounds like yeah. a fascinating read. <laughs> um, <laughs> I hope our viewers will take a chance to opportunity to pick up the book. Um, you won't be disappointed.